hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here um thank you for um tuning in um if you are a return subscriber thank you for tuning in to another video um okay in this video i'm gonna chat a little bit about what's going on with me if you want to skip straight to the soap video you two have like this trans transcript at the bottom where you can do so um first off i am relocating you guys i am relocating to a new city um i think it's time i've been wanting to move from um, miami for years now um just for um just a better you know better uh environment um you know try to just whatever um i like miami but miami is like it's over crowded um right now the housing crisis it's a housing crisis everywhere so um it's been stressful trying to find something um decent to live in um so i'm currently trying to move um into a new city so that's what's been going on with me and i'll talk about that and some of other things that i have going on with my business in another video um listen you guys out there when you guys send me those comments telling me that i inspire you listen i am here for it and if i inspire any one of y'all listen that just warms my heart because it's letting me know look wanda you are here doing your thing you inspiring people and then i'm also getting people telling me to keep going you doing good thank you i really appreciate you all thank you thank you thank you thank you um all right in this video i'm going to be making a lavender soap you this this soap right here i made a few days ago it's a lavender soap made with shea butter coconut oil and things like that um lavender essential oil and i'm making this soap because i always wanted to make something like a self-care kit and i always wanted to make sure i have lavender kit this kit is going to be a self-care kit for the lavender, if anybody who have, like, well, most of us go through stress anyway. So, um, stress, anxiety, or something like that, this is, this will be something for you. Because um, lavender, we all know, you know, it calms the nerves. It calms you down. You can just light your little candle with your little lavender and just let it fill up the room and just, it'll calm you down. And I do that a lot because I have anxiety. So, um with that being said um what else i got to say oh the self-care kit um will have a soap of course it will have a body butter sugar scrub um some wax melts yes some lavender wax melts i'm working on some wax melts and i'm missing one more thing it will have a, a um a bath salt a lavender bath salt as well okay so i'm not going to keep talking i'm just going to go ahead and get right into this video um again thank you guys for tuning in and enjoy watching this video okay the first thing i'm going to do is um strain out some of these oils that i have. well this is olive oil that i have been infusing with um my lavender but so i'm just gonna go ahead and strain this out first because i want to use some of this olive oil to um make this lavender soap so i have my cheese cloth and i have it um pinned down with some pins and i'm just gonna go ahead and pour it down in there okay so this is the amount of oil that i got from that lavender infusion so um I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side because now I'm going to go ahead and measure out my lye and my water to make the solution and set that to the side.
Okay, now I'm going to measure out my butters and my oils. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my light solution inside of my oils and butter so I can start um, mixing it up. So I'm gonna stir this and stir this until all of my butter um, completely melts. It's going to take about one or two minutes, sometimes three minutes. It depends on um, the temperature and how um, you see how sometimes the butter, I, um, depend on how like when I take it out and put it inside, how small or big like this piece is like me. This one is two different sizes. So, you know, it depends on the size and the temperature, how long it's gonna take to um, melt. But usually no more than um, two to three minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I have split these batches up in two. So um, I'm gonna add some mica, not mica, but um, titanium dioxide to this batch and a little bit over here as well little bit more over here and this is just gonna brighten up the color. it's gonna brighten up the colors um in this soap ready set that to the side now I'm gonna work with this I'm gonna add some purple mica and I got this mica a while ago from um, just pigments um, yeah I got this a while ago when I used to um, make lip gloss a lot and I still had some left over so I'm gonna use some of this in this. Think I'm gonna add a little bit more mica, just a little bit. sure all the mica is fully uh, mixed inside okay so I think that's pretty good so <clears throat> I want to add some swirls in this um, soap I think I'm gonna use my um, hanger swirl tool 
I used it one time when I made this soap and this what kind of swirls that it had gave me. This is my um, eucalyptus and mint um, activated charcoal soap. So I'm gonna pour some of this in here. I probably won't even need to use my hanger swirl. I think I'll get some good swirls just by doing this um, in a pot like this. We'll see. We will see how it goes. Okay, got my mold. Okay, so I noticed that I have like a lot of white, well, off-white, uh, but it's going to brighten up um, after it hardened, but I got a lot of that at the top. So I am going to use my hanger swirl tool. Usually they use these in a bigger size molds, but when I made my charcoal soap, I used it in this small mold and like i said this is how it turned out it turned out pretty decent pretty nice got some nice swirls going on so i'm going to use it with this Okay, still pretty much have a lot of white at the top. But once I cut this soap, we're gonna see how the inside look because sometimes you you just never know how it's gonna look until you cut the soap. So yeah, this is how it's looking right now. So I'm gonna see how I wanna, I wanna see how I'm gonna do the top. I don't know how I wanna what type of design that I want to do but I think I don't think it's not even thick enough for me to even really do anything right now so what I'm going to do is come back when this soap thickens up and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to create like some type of design or you know whatever I can do to the top of this so okay so I'll be right back okay you guys so this has been sitting up for a few minutes so let me see if it's thick enough for me to do a little bit of texturing at the top um, I'm also going to add some lavender on the top of this soap. Not exactly how I want it, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put the lavender on the other side. So when I <clears throat> buy my lavender, I make sure it's, I didn't never knew they had like different grades of lavender until I went searching on um, Amazon to get some lavender. I had bought lavender before from um, Whole Foods supermarket, but I didn't know like at that time that they had um, different um, grades. They got premium grade. I think that's the highest grade. And that's the one that I'm using right now. It's like a darker um, purple. The other grade is not, you know, as vibrant as this one. And I noticed that because when I compared it with the one that I had got from Whole Foods um, a while ago, it wasn't the, the um, it just wasn't the same. It looked it different. It was the one from Whole Foods looked it dried out. Um, it didn't smell as pungent as this one did. So, yeah. If you guys want like quality type of um, you know, products for your customers, make sure you, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna be well worth it. Even the essential oil, I had to upgrade my essential oil. Now I'm using premium um, because um, the lavender that I'm so used to using, I noticed that the smell, the scent just didn't stay. It, it, it didn't stay in for a long time. So I had to search for a different product. And this is the essential oil that I use. It's also premium grade. Um, lavender and this is the lavender buds that is premium grade and it's like a darker purple and it's more pungent so this is how the soap looks so far and <clears throat> you guys know it have to sit for at least 24 hours before I cut it Okay, for this portion of the video, I have to do a voiceover because um, I didn't realize that I had my music on in the background and I don't need no copyright strikes from um, YouTube. So I'm going to finish this video out um, with a voiceover. So right here, I'm just going to unmold the um, soap and cut it. My swirls didn't come out um, like I really wanted them to, but um, overall the soap turned out to be a very, very beautiful um, lavender soap. Next time I'm just, you know, I should have just stuck with the um, in the pot method, but um, you know, you just learn from from what you did wrong, and just next time you'll get it, you'll get it right. So, I think I'm going to put up a picture. Yeah, they got a picture right there. That's in direct sunlight of how the soap actually really looks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, I'm satisfied with the overall look of the soap regardless. The soap is still beautiful. Um, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this video. Um, subscribe to the channel for more videos, comment, like, subscribe, um, share the video if you want. Uh -huh. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video.